Have you ever wondered how your brain, a three pound massive jelly, can outperform the world's most powerful supercomputers? It's a question that has intrigued scientists and tech enthusiasts for decades. The human brain, despite its modest size and energy consumption, is capable of performing approximately 15 operations per second with just 20 watts. That's several hundred thousand times more efficient than today's most advanced computers. But it's not just about raw processing power. The human brain is a marvel of engineering. If a single cell, a tiny factory in itself, breaks down, the brain has the remarkable ability to repair it. And that's not all. The brain can also replicate itself, a feat no computer has yet achieved. This is something computers can't do yet, but what makes the brain truly exceptional? Stay tuned, as we delve into the profound mysteries of the brain, exploring its unmatched abilities and pondering the future of artificial intelligence. Consider creativity perhaps the most critical aspect that sets the human brain apart. Both humans and computers are capable of combining basic knowledge to produce results, however, the approach each takes is fundamentally different. Artificial intelligence or AI makes decisions based on correlations between previous data and the questions at hand. It's like a vast library pulling books off the shelves that seem to fit the query. It's efficient, it's reliable, but it's also predictable. Now let's turn our attention to the human brain, a marvel of nature that operates differently. Unlike AI, our brains don't solely rely on past data to make decisions. We have the ability to forget. It might seem counterintuitive, but this ability to forget is actually crucial. It's like clearing the stage for a new performance, creating a space for imagination to flourish. Imagine you're holding a piece of clay. You can shape it, mold it, and even if you mess up, you can smooth it out and start afresh. That's the power of forgetting. It gives us the freedom to experiment, to make mistakes, and to learn. It allows us to ask questions, to challenge the status quo, and to dream up new possibilities. That's where creativity comes into play. Creativity is not about finding the right answer. It's about asking the right questions, about exploring myriad possibilities. It's about the journey of discovery, not just the destination. It's the process of continuously seeking answers, of constantly redefining what we know and how we understand the world. Yes, computers can calculate, but humans, humans recognize, we understand, we interpret, we create. That's the power of the human brain. That's the power of creativity. Creativity is an innately human trait. It's what enables us to invent, to innovate, to push the boundaries of what's possible. It's what makes us human. But here's the thing, this fact, this fundamental difference between AI and the human brain might soon be challenged. But until that day comes, let's celebrate the power of creativity, the power of the human brain. Just as we create new life, we also create new thoughts. Does this make us distinct? When we think of a computer, we think of the billions of transistors it holds, each performing their specific task to keep the machine functioning. Now, let's flip the coin and consider the human body. It's no less of a marvel, having billions of DNA molecules, each carrying a blueprint of who we are. While computers are made, humans are born. This is due to a unique process called sexual reproduction, a method that results in offspring with genetic material from both parents. This process is extraordinary and intricate, leading to a diversity of life that is simply staggering. It's a game of chance and survival with the outcome being a new human, distinct in their own right. Let's take a moment to appreciate the complexity of this process. Two cells, each carrying half of the genetic material required, combine to form one cell. This single cell then begins to divide, growing into a complex organism with a brain capable of thought, emotion and creativity. This is the birth of new life, a phenomenon so common yet so miraculous. Now let's consider our computers, our machines. They are designed, built and programmed by us. They are incredibly efficient, capable of calculations far beyond our own speed and accuracy. But can they reproduce? Can they spawn a new machine, combining the traits of two parent machines into a unique offspring? The answer, at least for now, is a resounding no. The birth of new life is a marvel, a testament to the power of nature. It's an event that computers in all their complexity and power cannot yet replicate. But this isn't where our uniqueness ends. For our brains hold another ace, the ability to comprehend and utilize the language of the universe, a language we call mathematics. 
And that, dear listeners, is the topic of our next discussion. The birth of new life is a marvel, but what about the language of the universe? Mathematics, the most accurate language humans can speak, helps us unravel the secrets of the universe. With each equation and theorem we decode, we edge closer to understanding the enigmatic cosmos surrounding us. Now let's delve into the realm of computers and their relationship with this precise language. At present, computers essentially serve as powerful calculators. They rely heavily on a process known as numerical substitution, taking numbers and inserting them into mathematical formulas. This process might seem complex, but it's merely computation, a series of programmed instructions. Imagine a computer solving a simple algebraic equation. It doesn't understand why x equals 5 or why it's adding two numbers together. It follows a set of predetermined steps to reach an answer. It's not understanding the mathematics, it's merely executing a task. Yet, consider this. What if computers could do more than just calculate? What if they could truly understand mathematical formulas, grasp the relationships between numbers, comprehend the intricate dance of equations and variables? It's a thought-provoking question, isn't it? This is not about merely improving computational speed or accuracy, it's about fundamentally changing the way computers interact with numbers and equations. Instead of being a mindless machine that churns out answers, a computer that understands mathematics could potentially discern patterns, make predictions, and even generate new mathematical concepts. Such a leap would not just be a technological advancement, it would be a paradigm shift. It could transform computers from tools into thinking entities capable of conceptual understanding and abstract thought. So we return to our initial question. What would happen if computers understood mathematical formulas rather than merely calculating them? It's an intriguing prospect, a question that invites us to imagine a future where the line between human and machine intelligence becomes increasingly blurred. If computers could truly comprehend mathematics, would they then step into the realm of thought? As we continue to push the boundaries of artificial intelligence, we may soon find an answer. When will artificial intelligence be able to really think? Is it even possible? This question has occupied the minds of scientists, philosophers, and tech enthusiasts alike for decades now. As we delve into the future of artificial intelligence, we find ourselves in a realm of endless possibilities and potential advancements. The current state of AI is impressive with machines capable of learning, adapting, and even making decisions based on a vast amount of data. Yet, they still fall short when compared to the human brain. The human brain can perform about 15 operations per second, using a mere 20 watts. It's a powerhouse of efficiency, operating at a level that we have yet to replicate in our most advanced machines. And unlike our computers and machines, our brains are self-sustaining factories. If a cell, the smallest unit of this factory, breaks down, it can repair itself. This level of self-healing and self-replication is something our current AI technology cannot achieve. Moreover, the human brain possesses an element of unpredictability, the ability to forget and imagine. This ability to forget allows our brains to create room for imagination, for asking questions, and for finding answers. It's a continuous, dynamic process, one that cannot be mimicked by AI that operates based on correlations and calculations. But what of the future? Could AI one day understand mathematical formulas rather than merely calculating them? Could it approach the secrets of the universe much like how we humans use mathematics as a language to understand the world around us? Could it replicate the processes of the human brain, going beyond calculations to actually think? These are questions that we may soon find answers to. With billions, with billions of transistors and computers paralleling the billions of DNA in humans, we are on the dawn of creating new thoughts just as we create new life. The human brain with its superior capabilities continues to reign supreme, but for how long? So, is the human brain still superior? We've delved into a variety of topics today, each one shedding light on this profound question. We've seen how our brains with their remarkable energy efficiency, are capable of performing a multitude of operations every second, all while consuming a mere 20 watts of power. We've marveled at the brain's self-repair and replication abilities, traits that even the most advanced computers have yet to acquire. We've explored the uniqueness of human creativity, an attribute that sets us apart from AI, which is limited to data correlations and lacks the ability to forget and imagine. 
We've also considered the human brain's understanding of mathematics, a universal language that brings us closer to unraveling the secrets of the universe. AI in contrast is still bound by numerical substitution. For now the human brain remains an unrivaled marvel. But the future? Only time will tell. The first rule of channel is subscribe channel. Second rule of channel is click like. This channel will make you smart.